Let's see. Uh, rainbows. No. Uh, energy drink. Check. Sponsorship. Check. I it's brought to you by Bonk today, guys. Yeah, that's right. I got a Bonk sponsorship. A major leagues. <laughs> okay. Uh, starting off, we got a lot of questions today from a lot of people, and I'm only going to answer about five of them, but I'm going to answer them about as quickly as I can and about as in-depth as I can. First up comes from Mittens. Yo, Mittens, what's up? Hey, Scout. How did you get your super strong? How, yeah, how did I get my super strong? What's your secret? My secret is... Okay, you ready for this? It's a classic workout. Everybody knows it. Everybody does it. You do thir You do 300 crunches a day. You do 200 push-ups every 40 hours. And then on top of that, you gotta run 16 and a half miles, which I can do in usually about 10.5 seconds. So yeah, that's the that's secret. You just got a really weird workout plan, and you go with it. Now, I know this guy from, uh, I think it was Japan, was it? Yeah. He would do 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, run 10 miles, and they just sit there without the AC. Normally, that doesn't work, but for him, it did wonders. I watched him punch a freaking giraffe in half. Or you could just be Saxon Hale and be born naturally stronger than anything else on Earth. Which means you could punch yetis to death, or in really dire situations, use your own freaking teammates as a freaking baseball bat! Sorry. Yeah, uh... Sort of let myself go there. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. I'm back into it. Close the door for the recording studio, because that scared the shit out of somebody. Next one comes from Ryan Ruddick. Scout, why do you love baseball? It has always been something I enjoyed growing up, and uh, it's always been something I would watch on the TV. Because you don't have to, you don't have to crowd around the TV to watch baseball. You can hear it. You can put your ear to the wall because you're not allowed in the TV room after that incident with the cat in the refrigerator. But you can put your ear to the wall and you could hear it and you could tell what they're doing and you could visualize it because you know what's going on. Like for example, I know that in the fourth inning of the. Uh, what was it? The Cincinnati something or others? Yeah. In the fourth inning of a baseball game I watched as a child, one of the one of the lead like lead strikers on the team, right? He was one of the best they had. He had not gotten anything under a home run for like a year. He he fucked up. He fucked up, and not only did he fucked up, he not only did he fucked up. Not only did he fuck up, he actually managed to take out a pedestrian outside of the stadium with a foul home run. That's right, he hit the ball so hard in the wrong direction it went out of the stadium. It was beautiful. Next question here comes from Grelith with a scout. If you could turn into any animal, what would you pick and why? Well, I thought about this long and hard yesterday, and uh, the answer came to me in a dream that happened after I drank some contaminated bonk. Ugh. Um, so, in the dream, I was... I was a bird, and not just any bird, I was the fastest bird. I was a peregrine motherfucking falcon, yeah. And not only was I a peregrine falcon, but I was the fastest one. So I was flying faster than all the other peregrine falcons. Like, you gotta be fast as fuck to be one of those little birds, and I was the fastest bird. It was beautiful. It was beyond anything I have ever seen before. And I was the bird. Cuckoo kachu. Wait, no, wait, that's a walrus. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, gets me every time. Uh, so yeah, I was a peregrine falcon, and I think if I could turn into any animal, I'd probably be that falcon. Just so I could be faster than everything else. Not to mention, have you seen, like, the spy wouldn't suspect that. I could get the drop on him ten times out of ten. He'd be just like... Eating a baguette or whatever the hell French people do in their spare time. And I can just swoop in as a fucking falcon and take his cigars or something. It'd be the ultimate payback for all those years of telling people that rainbows make me cry. They don't, by the way. They don't make me cry at all. They're just a little, uh... I'm just allergic to them, yeah. I'm just allergic to rainbows. Our final question here comes from a living taco with Do you go by in slow motion? Now, I'm thinking this is a reference to, like, some movie or something I haven't watched. But, I'm telling you now, life does not go by in slow motion at all. Life is fast as hell, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So, life doesn't go by in slow motion. I might go by in slow motion to other people, because I'm busy living life to its fullest. You stop, you smell the flowers, you go around, you 
You, you hit the ground running. It makes sense not to live for fun. Because your brain gets small, but your head gets dumb. So much to see, so much to do, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? So wait, so much to do, so much to see. I always get that wrong. Uh, but but that's because the, the guy who wrote the song, that's because Smash Mouth literally wrote the song backwards. Yeah, that's why. I think that's all the time we have for today. As always, guys, leave a like if you enjoy the video. Share it, because that'll definitely help me out in the future. And be sure to leave your questions below. Like, I do this for you. I don't do it for me. I do it for me. But I, I do it for me, but I do it for you, too. You, you, you dig what I'm saying?